We are back, guys, with another exciting AI earning opportunity for 2025. Now, this is going to be a theory video. We've just shot the video of showing you how to implement this in a very, very simple way. But I want to talk about the theory behind what we're doing. We're currently running a 50% promotional offer for Harbor. Go to harborseo.ai, choose monthly, and use the code half price to get 50% off what we believe to be the best AI SEO tool in the world. So the first thing to note would be that you'd use something like AI's, uh, OpenAI's cookbook or their documentation or whatever, and I would probably recommend doing GPT-40 Mini for all of this because it's so cheap that you can charge a very small amount. So what are we talking about? We're talking about making mobile apps using Cursor or using Klein or using you know whatever you prefer. You could probably even just use Claude. You probably don't even need something like Klein, but Klein does make things very, very easy. Now, in tomorrow's video, I make one of these apps in literally five minutes, okay? So it's very, very easy, very, very simple to do. Now, there's this very common kind of theory crafting that just making a load of these apps and putting ads on them or selling them for very cheap or whatever it might be is a really, really good way to make money. But what we're gonna be talking about in this video is something a bit more refined, which is how to make an app that millions of people will potentially want to use, okay? Now, you will also have to do you know, AESO, which is uh, App Store Optimization, and all of that other stuff as well, but we're talking about just making the app in this video. So let's talk about the theory of this, okay? Specifically, I want to talk about, uh, but chat GPT can just do that, right? So in tomorrow's video that we just recorded, so my head's kind of getting confused, basically what I made in five minutes was an app that you can take a picture of anything and it will give you a description of what that picture is, okay? And obviously the first thing that pops to mind when I say that is, but ChatGPT can just do that, right? So I wanna talk about kind of how to build an app that ChatGPT can't do, okay? And there are two ways in my mind to do this. Now there are probably more than two ways to do this, but let's specifically talk about the two ways that I can think of to do this. So the first is storing data in a database, right? So ChatGPT, cannot, on the front end of ChatGPT, it cannot store data in a database, okay? So if you can think of an app where you take a picture of something or like the example um, that I give in tomorrow's video, it's such a weird way to say it, but like another example that I've talked about or I will talk about, fuck's sake. Another example would be an AI note-taking app, okay, which basically someone created an app that listens to university lectures and then creates notes from that lecture, okay, which is a really good, simple app that you could probably make in a few days and is making anywhere between 50 to 200,000 a month for whoever made that specific app, okay? So ChatGBT cannot do that. It can't, you know, out of the box, it can't do that, okay? Because you can't, as far as I know, attach uh, media files here. I don't believe it can even analyze media files here. I don't think it has. Okay, it can, but it can only do basic tasks, okay? So it doesn't, I cannot directly interpret complex audio, okay? So what you would need for that is a transcription API, like Whisper, and then ChatGPT 4 and Mini to then uh, analyze that data. Now, making a note-taking app would actually not be as difficult as I previously thought. Something like Read AI, something like the app that I've been talking about, the, the note-taking app, they're not that difficult to make, especially with something like C-Line, okay? So this is one instance, okay, because you store that data in a database, and then you store the notes in the database, okay? Now, I really wish I could talk about the other idea that my friend Ed had, 
but I don't want to give away his magical idea. So let's just talk about something else, like, for example, an invoicing app, okay? So, you know, in Italy, for example, you have to print out an invoice for it to be legal, okay? So you could then take a picture of that and then you store that in your database and then that is then stored forever and can be used for tax purposes, okay? So that's something that ChatGPT can't do. You cannot store your personal information inside ChatGPT permanently inside a database. Now, it does have a memory to interact with previous conversations or whatever it might be, but it doesn't have the ability to store information in a database. Now, the other one here that I came up with, or that ChatGPT came up with for me, I should say, is interacting with third-party APIs, right? Now, this might be possible with Search GPT, but as far as I'm aware, this wouldn't work. Um, th 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 this wouldn't work. So let me talk about how I envision this would look. So you take a picture of a sneaker. Uh, Chat GPT 4.0 Mini identifies the sneaker model. And then your app has a third-party API call to something like StockX um, and values the exact sneaker in front of you. It could also search eBay or whatever. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a third party API call. You could use something like Gina to scrape eBay's results. It doesn't have to be sneakers. It could be, you know, Nintendo DS uh, or, uh, yeah, like Pokemon games, which are worth quite a lot and are very collectible. It could be Pokemon cards, which again, are very collectible. I think I might make this up. So like a collectible valuer app would be a really, really popular thing because there are a lot of people who go around these places and they take pictures of things and they might not immediately know what the thing is that they're taking a picture of. So this would be a very, very quick and easy way of doing it. It would be like a evaluation app, basically. So this is something that ChatGPT can probably take a stab at, but it wouldn't be fully accurate like something like this would be because ChatGPT is for general use it's for all purposes whereas if you're making something specific with specific prompts and specific guidelines and specific third-party calls or specifically uh, storing data in a database you can maybe start to understand why this is such a powerful way to make money now let's talk a little bit about how you actually do this now I'll show you how to do this in tomorrow's video but this is how you basically do it. So you use something called Expo. Uh, again, my friend Ed showed me this. I didn't know anything about this until uh, yesterday. Expo is a way to um, have code on your computer, but test the app and see what the app looks like on your phone at the same time. It's like localhost for uh, phone apps, for mobile apps. It's also a little bit like Vercel, so you can then launch your application on Expo after. So we use Expo and we use something called React Native. Again, I didn't know about this, so shout out again to Ed. But apparently, well, not apparently, what this does is it allows you to build using, Java, using a JavaScript framework and JavaScript library instead of learning something like Swift or whatever the other mobile languages are. You can use React Native, which for me, is a huge, huge improvement. The reason being, I don't know if people have tried to make a mobile app before, but something, I, th I think it's called Swift. Uh, this shit is complicated, okay? You have to download this weird thing and get it to work, and uh, it's just a nightmare. Like, I tried to do it for a few days a, a couple of years back, and it was absolutely, it was a horrible experience, okay? So instead, you can just use something called React Native. And then you use Cursor or C or Klein to build the app. And yeah. very, very simple prompt, okay? And then in between this, so for the prompt, for the prompt, you can use something like the OpenAI Cookbook, or you could just go on Google and type in Vision OpenAI and then just go on their vision documentation, change it to Node.js, copy this page, and then 
let's say instead you want to make a mobile app that has Whisper, um, the uh, TTS, uh, what is it, text-to-speech algorithm or model. So you could say uh, voice, text-to-speech, there it is, or um, what's it called, Whisper, I think it's called. Uh, okay, no, it's just text-to-speech. So again, for example, um, you would record something, transcribe something, and then you could bring it to life with voice, or actually, no, we want to use, um, we, you would probably want to use Whisper, actually, for this. Anyway, you know, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not massively, I don't know loads and loads about these things, but I'm just trying to show you guys what you can actually do. So if I just go back to open AI cookbook and write um, whisper, then probably there'll be something here that would be able to help us. There's also a GitHub here, which looks like it might be uh, whisper. Um, but yeah, there's, you know, there's millions of different options of things that you could make, and there's so many resources, resources online. You just copy something like this, put it onto uh, Klein, and get it to make whatever app you want. So this is kind of the theory. I'll show you tomorrow how to actually make one of these apps very quickly, very easily. Tomorrow I make an app where I um, take a picture of my cat and it will describe the picture. It's a very simple app. ChatGPT can just do that. But hopefully in today's video, I've shown you a little bit more detail how you can make an app that will actually make you money and not just something that everyone will just say, why would I use that app when ChatGPT can just do that anyway? I'm going to leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you want to know, frankly, the most exciting way to make money with AI in 2025.